Hey everybody, it's Blue Totem. Welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. We have just crossed, uh, what's this called? The Great Hadia Bridge or something like that. But now, we're going to climb up this side and see if we can get another Korok. If I can make it, please. Oh, so close to running out. I'm pretty sure there's another Korok up here. Somewhere. Okay, let me do a little bit of this. Oh, wow. Is there really not? I'm like super, super sure that there is. I'm so sure that there should be. Oh, apparently not then. Maybe I just missed it. There's a crumbled part of the wall here. Hang on. Scanning. Scan scanning terrain. Nothing found. Okay. Just a Yiga Blade Master. Nobody wants those. So it looks like that uh, there wasn't anything on that, which is surprising. But I think if we go back this way a little bit. And possibly need to change the time a little bit. Which is okay. That's not what I was trying to do. Get back up. Anyway, he's gone now. Easy enough to deal with. Oh my goodness, really? Rain. Why does the rain... Why does the rain... Why does the rain have to be so insane? I can climb up this empty space here. Okay, that's not working at all. So I'm gonna wait just a few more seconds for the thing to go away. Let's climb up now. Why did you do that, Link? Why? Okay, uh, that's just because of the bad angle for him. Anyway, let me have a look at that uh, thing again. Uh, Southern Sky, which is straight down this way. Probably more that way, actually. Hang on. Yeah, what you should do to actually get an idea of which direction it is, is just put a stamp with that thing right down from there. So yeah, that is basically straight down. Towards the tower. But I think it needs to be night time, which it is about to be. And I probably need to be in the middle of the bridge. What does it say? Yeah, the middle, middle of the largest bridge. Oh, I'm in the middle now. Oh, these guys are back because I didn't kill them properly. Oh my goodness, he ran out of charge. Okay then. If that's the way it's going to be. I didn't want to kill them. But I had to. Okay, Southern Sky. Southern Sky. Oh. Well, there we go. We get a red fallen star fall down. Just gonna quickly check that. Okay, nothing. So let's go over here and get this. And if you've been watching or playing or have played or seen it, any of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I love how it's a red chest. That kind of makes everything feel better. We get the Salvager Headwear. Collaboration, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the Cloud Sea. It's a rather rare find. It's increased speed. Let's equip that, and then let's have a look at it. Because we get... Um... We get a Salvager's hood, basically. That's really cool. I'm hoping to click the whole thing now. It's not that important to us, but it's still really cool to have, so. Anyway, now that that is done, let's have a look at this tower since it's right there. 
And if I can find any Koroks along the way, that'll be even better. There are some basic enemies around, but that's not really a problem anymore. Also, I was hoping that this was going to be for lighting something else, but I guess not. Anyway, let's just head up this way. A lot of area to cover. Probably going to change this marker so it's going to... No, well, let's just get rid of it. Let's get rid of this one over here as well. Oh, go up, Link. Don't slide down. That's actually a lot further away than it looks. But that's okay. My laptop is making sounds and I hope it's not dying. You're gonna shoot me, are you? Well, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, this is bad. Not that bad since they keep missing me. And they keep giving me arrows, which is also good. Just gonna pass by, sir. Goodbye. Now, I was wearing the uh, the climber's bandana before. I'm gonna put that back on to make climbing faster. Since that's so useful. And let's just head up. Here we go. One of the last two towers. It's been a long time since we got our first one. When we looked at the map for the first time and everything was huge. It still is really huge. We haven't even covered this area yet, so... We haven't even covered most of every area we've been to. We've just had a light brush of everything. So while I'm here, I want to mark a few things. There's that stable and shrine there, for one thing. I don't think I can see anything over there, maybe? I don't know if that's a sh no, I think that's a shrine. Gonna mark that there then. Don't think there's anything else to see in that direction. Don't think there's anything to see in that direction either, from here. I don't actually know if there is anything over there. And down, uh, can I actually see it from here? Hang on. I feel like I should be able to see what I'm trying to see from here. There's a little hole there, which I guess I should go do now since I can actually see. Well, I can't see, so I want to actually show why I'm looking at it. And there's Farosh. Farouche is what I've I've always just I've I've usually just called it Farouche because it makes it a little bit easier. But if we get close to it, it's gonna start sending electricity balls at us. Uh, but if we get really close to it and then shoot at part of it, it's gonna sparkle and then shoot off, hitting the ground. So let's go take a look at that. Also, when you're near a, um, a, what's it called? A dragon. There'll be a slight updraft near near it. We got a, far a Farosh scale. Far Farosh's scale. This previous, uh, precious scale fell from the golden spirit far Farosh. It contains powerful electricity within. Uh, you can cook it with it, but... But just eating it seems like a waste. It really does. Anyway, while we were gliding, we could actually see what I was trying to point out, which is a shrine. And I might as well do that while I'm here. I feel like I could beat the game with this amount of hearts. But more stamina would be useful. So let's try and have a look at that. 
It's really down here. All the way. Shatter the heavens. Okay then, if I have to. So, just quickly as a test. Let me put an orb into that. A little orb bomb. And then blowing that up. Oh my goodness. That actually blows that up, or hits that up there. But I think that's not going to actually do everything I need to do. Because there's some blocks up there in the way. So, let's put a remote bomb square onto there. And now, let's see how I can do this. Wonderful. Okay, can I actually drop this from here? That'd be great. Nope, that's not going to work, I don't think. This reminds me of Ocarina of Time with the fire temple. Drop that in there. And now let's get onto it ourselves. This is, this can only end well. And launch. Grab that. A light forward blade, a single edged sword, traditional to the Sheikah tribe, forged using ancient technology. It's just it just might may be among the sharpest conventional weapons ever made. Attack up plus eight. Oh my goodness. That's really good. Um, oh, there's some good stuff, but also some bad stuff. I might just say goodbye to my Frostblade. I've been using it a bunch recently anyway, so... Let's just grab this. And that's all the chests in the shrine. It's not very big, but it's still pretty good. So there's that. I'm assuming there's going to be some Koroks on some of these um, small islands as well, but I don't know if I want to spend time looking at that at the moment. There's also a treasure chest there. There will come a time when I'm going to probably have a look a lot more at Koroks, but now is not that time. So, for now, I think I'm just going to head over to... Um... I guess back to the tower, and then we can go to one of the shrines I marked down. Although, there's something that's been burning a hole in my pocket, and I want to do something about that. Okay, one of the Koroks, I believe, had a... Uh, wanted a ice rod. Cooler. Okay. Where are you? I'm gonna just get this out and hopefully all I need to do is have it equipped because otherwise yeah, I'm gonna get annoyed probably. Is it you? No. Is it you? Yes. The thing you're carrying on your back. There's no doubt about it. It's an ice rod. Show it to me, Mr. Hero. If you say so. Shimmering, sparkling, what a sight to behold. Thank you, Mr. Hero, your weapon is so amazingly... Wonderfully sparkly. I must give you something as thanks. Get a silver rupee from that. Clink, sparkle. Oh my goodness, and now we can finally let it go forever. Goodbye. Can I even take a picture of it? Hang on. I'm trying to get to the thing, but it's not. There we go. Ah, I've taken a picture of it already. Cool. Good and great. Let's go somewhere else now. Back over here. This angle, seeing all four aiming beams, 
at Harrowcast towards Harrow Castle is very cool. So I think the blue one is closest, technically. So let's head towards that one. And then we'll figure out what to do next. Actually, I wanna I think I wanna head down to the ground because I could glide all the way to where I need to be, but there's a few Koroks along the path down here that are actually really easy to get. So, let's roll this boulder, if I can, although I'm probably just going to do this. Like that. Oh, too far, too far, too far, too far, too far, too far. Too far. That's not going to work. Just roll it. Just roll it, please. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let me try that again. Not quite. Please? Oh my goodness. Please, just get in that hole. I said it was going to be easy to get some of these Koroks. But, really? There we go. Mark that one off. There we go. Now there's probably going to be more like that down here, maybe? Also some horses. I want to get a horse. I'm going to get this... this one. This one. No! Please. Please horse. 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 Please. Please horse. Don't leave me. Oh my goodness. It just... Took out that thing. I don't think we can stasis it either. Horse, 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 horse. Oh my horse! Ah, horse, you're going right down that hill. Okay, good, good. Just go steady. Okay, I probably want to take you to a stable then. Which is probably going to take me to the other shrine that I mentioned. Oh, there's also that there, though. Oh, Korok. You torture me. Let's head to that stable then, and then figure out all the stuff that I'm going to clean up at some point. Excuse me. Oh, go back that way. Thank you. Stay on the path, stay on the path, stay on the path, stay on the path, stay on the path. Good, good horse. Good horse, please don't hurt me. Oh, calm down. Once I get to the stable, it's going to be a lot easier to control as well. Once I actually get there. These regions down here are not necessary for completion, and some people would actually don't like them at all, but I'm quite happy with them. They are very different, and they kind of make the world feel more real, I guess. I don't know. Okay, calm down. Oh my goodness. Don't ruin my day. Book hoblins. Oh, horse, horse, horse! I've been wanting to ho tame a horse for a while now. Another one. Okay, so... Oh, slow down, slow down, talk! Okay, register my horse. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so... The horse's name we're gonna go with... Is gonna be... Andy. It's got a wild temperament, unfortunately. But it's got pretty good other stats in speed and stamina. Let's go with that. Let's take my horse for now. So now that we have a little bit more control... Oh my gosh, the Pokoblins are still trying to attack. For some reason. Are they attacking my horse? I don't think so. They're just being very... Very over the top for some reason at the moment. Anyway, let's have a look at this shrine. 
Oh, don't rain, don't rain, don't rain, don't rain, don't rain. I think I'm fine, it's not got the rain icon. Also, I forgot to mention this at any time so far, but um, Farudani is now on the loading screen. Metal doors open the way. They do indeed open the way. I remember this one being a little bit, a little bit, a little, just a little bit, you know. I need to figure out everything in here. Now, let's blow that up. Come and get me, Guardian. I dare you. Come on. Come on, don't be, don't be shy. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I have a door. Fear me. <laughs> you can, once you blow up that, those blocks, you just get this door. And it's great. Because we have to use this door to solve the puzzle now. Let's grab this. Knight's bow, quick shot, effect. I have to drop something. Uh, let's drop you. And let's grab this. Quick shot is a good effect, probably. So don't have to draw for as long. Now, I believe the other treasure chest that it's wanting me to find is here. But I need to activate something to get that to open. Although I could just be crazy, possibly. Anyway, let's grab this door. And let's figure out what we can do with it. Well, for one thing, we can knock that down. Oh, that's too strong to move. Not quite how I wanted that to arrange. But that's okay. Let me just put that, like, there. <laughs> that's still not good enough to climb. No, it is. Okay, cool. So... How do I get this treasure chest? That is the question that I have. This other one, that is. Let's pull this up, and let's knock a few things around. I don't know if I need to knock these things around, but I feel like I should. Just clear the table. Okay, that didn't really do much. Let me throw that away for a second. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> That's not going to work out well for me. Let's open up this chest by pressing the correct button. Get an opal. It's still in the middle of this thing, so how do I... How do I... I wonder if it's just... Magnesis. Yep, it is. It looks different, but it's a little block of metal. There we go. A gold rupee, wow. That's all the chests in this shrine, now we can just get to the end. And to do that, we need to use this door to get up to this little bit up here. Which we can probably just drop that there for. And then climb up. Although you're supposed to use the other platforms to go halfway and then do the other half. This just works easy enough. Okay, let's have a look at my horse. Let's go. Let's go, Andy. Still doesn't like me that much. Oh my goodness. Actually, listen to me, please. Oh, no. Please, get back on and go. Good. Good. Part of the road. Good. Okay. 
I think we're back on track now. Good. Oh, calm down. It's okay. Please go forward. Just go around that. And I might turn that off again because that's going to annoy me. There's also that shrine there that I need to probably look at, but I want to get off this rock and go get the Korok that I saw. Oh my goodness, why are you turning this way? Why are you turning this way? Nice, good, better. Hey look, some more horses. There's quite a few in this region apparently. Which has reason for it actually. Got him. There we go. Now, I don't know if I saw any other places that I could get Koroks in the forest. So I don't know about that, but I guess we can head back to that other shrine now, at the very least. I can go through the forest just to make sure. Although, you can still find Koroks underneath rocks in the trees. So some of these big trees might just have Koroks in them. At least one, if I had to guess. Any amount. Please, just go. Oh my goodness. Why is this happening? Okay, I'm not in control. That's better. Um, somebody help. Why would I want to help you? You're fine. Just deal with the problem. Oh, this is not going to work if I stay up here. Let me go down this way. To this shrine. There's also a uh, thing here, which is good because it's right next to a shrine, so if I ever need this big hearty radish, or this hearty radish, I can just teleport here. Oh my goodness, my game is just freezing now. That's not good. I hope I don't accidentally crash my game. A minor test of strength. This is going to be a piece of cake, probably. We're so much stronger now. <laughs> oh, this guy didn't know what hit him. Let's just go a little bit over the top for it. Ow! Don't hit me while I'm trying to hit you! You really think that's a good idea? You're just going to stun yourself. Oh really? Come on. Now oh, that's cool. Being able to send sword beams. Come on. Come on. Oh my wind cleaver is badly damaged. That's a shame. Guess I'll just have to stab you normally. I'm gonna fill up my slots again with whatever you drop. Oh my goodness. So many items, so many weapons, so many things. Anyway. It's another shrine completed. We've actually almost done all of the shrines in this new region. Which is very surprising. A boomerang! This throwing weapon has been... It was originally used by for the, for the forest-dwelling Quaroks. Its uni unique shape allows it to return after being thrown. <gasps> I actually had space in my inventory for once. That's crazy. And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.